Hey there streamers, and welcome back to the lab. Did you know that Streamlabs has its own plugin for OBS Studio? Well, if you didn't, that's all right. I'm here to catch you all caught up. Today, I'm gonna be talking about all of the benefits of using the Streamlabs plugin for OBS Studio. And I'm going to take you through the entire process of downloading it, setting it up in OBS Studio, and where to find some of our most popular features like widgets, stream labels, tipping, and overlays. Ready? Let's dive in. Now, obviously the first step is going to be downloading the plugin itself. And don't worry, we've made it easy for you. It's linked in the description below. Once you've pressed download, you'll see the plugin in your system. An executable will pop up, install it, and then if you have OBS Studio open, you'll be prompted to restart it. Click OK, and once OBS Studio reopens, you'll be prompted to log into Streamlabs. Once you're done setting up all of the login information, you should be good to go. Now, one thing to note, as you're opening the plugin for the very, very first time, there will be a prompt during this asking you about whether or not you want to enable CloudBot. CloudBot is going to contain all of those commands and timers and auto moderation settings that will help keep your chat not only safe, but the conversation up as well. So as you're going through this onboarding process, make sure you pay attention to the prompt asking you whether or not you want to enable CloudBot we recommend yes. And to change all of the settings and commands and timers, you can just head to your dashboard and tweak everything there. Now, first thing, once you get the plugin installed, you'll have access to our entire overlays library right with inside OBS Studio. Overlays are on-screen elements that are like little slices of your personal brand that you get to incorporate into your stream. So take some time and navigate through the library and find the one that speaks to you. Whether you're a super hyped up FPS player, a jump scare loving horror streamer, or a cozy gamer that just wants to tend to your crops, I can guarantee you we have something in there for you. Now, of course, if you're itching for something even more extra, you can always subscribe to Streamlabs Ultra. Streamlabs Ultra will give you access to thousands and thousands of professionally designed animated overlays, widget themes, and transitions. And needless to say, getting the right overlay for your stream is the foundation of all of your customization and your branding. So we wanted to make sure that you could just drop them right into your scenes without any hassle. One quick thing to mention though, when you do change your overlays and install a new one, you are going to need to restart OBS Studio. But again, once OBS Studio restarts, all of your overlays and scenes should be right there waiting for you. Now, arguably the next most important bit of customization is going to be your widgets and alerts. So you're gonna to wanna to get those set up as soon as possible. So you're going to go to the left-hand side navigation and click on the widgets button. And then you'll be taken to the page where you can select your favorite widgets. Now, one of the exciting benefits of using the widgets from within the plugin itself is that traditionally, if you wanted to have access to these widgets, you would have to copy and paste URLs and stack multiple browser sources on top of each other. And that's just a pain. So now you can access your favorite widgets with the a single click of a button. If you're a brand new streamer or haven't even started streaming yet, you might be wondering, is it important for you to get all of this tipping stuff set up now? Just trust us, it's worth it. Sure, you might not be getting tips right now, but trust us, the moment your community hits that level of viewership and engagement that somebody wants to send you a tip, you're gonna be really glad you set it up ahead of time. So to get all of this started, all you need to do is enter your PayPal email address, and then you can customize all of the specific tipping settings in your Streamlabs dashboard, which is your source for all settings, info, and more. We've also integrated stream labels directly within OBS Studio's plugin as well. That means no additional browser sources, no additional software. All you have to do is click a button and you can display all sorts of information right within your overlay. And to help you, the streamer, stay on top of everything that's happening in your stream, we've also added the recent events tab as well. All of these recent events will pop up directly in a window on the side of your screen so you won't lose track of any new followers, subs, or tips. Now you're gonna wanna make sure that your event alerts look and feel the way that you want them to. So we've added a handy little feature to let you test the events right from within the plugin. Right at the bottom of the left-hand nav, there should be a button that says test events. Now make sure to test these thoroughly before you start streaming to make sure that everything looks the way you want them to, feels the way you want them to, and honestly, you're in the right spot on your stream. And of course, the last thing that we wanna bring up with you is multi-streaming for all of our creators that are streaming to multiple platforms. It's a well-known fact that creating content across multiple platforms right now is the best way to grow your audience and your viewership, and Streamlabs makes it as simple as logging into the platforms you wanna go live on and clicking a button. So as long as you have Streamlabs Ultra, you can enable streaming to multiple platforms from directly within the plugin. No need to leave OBS Studio. And as if that wasn't enough, our new native integration with TikTok is now available on the OBS plugin as well. So you can add that to your multi-stream mix and take advantage of all of the incredible growth opportunities that TikTok has to offer. 
So there you have it, a basic rundown of everything you need to know about the Streamlabs plugin for OBS Studio. All that's left is for you to download the plugin, get everything set up, customize your scenes, and go live. Of course, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all the latest and greatest things that we're working on here at Streamlabs. And if you've already gotten your hands on the OBS plugin and you've been using it, let us know what you think in the comments below. And of course, as always, let us know what kind of videos you want us to make here. But that's it for me. Happy streaming, and we'll see you in the next video.